Could this be the perfect solar system to search for life? Scientists have just uncovered six planets orbiting around HD 110067, a star located about 100 light years from Earth. These planets are locked in a perfectly harmonic resonance, a phenomenally rare cosmic configuration that could be pivotal in the search for extraterrestrial life. Solar systems like these are more likely to support habitable environments over long periods. Hi Space Cats, I'm Dr Maggie Liu. Today let's talk about HD 110067. But first, a special thanks to our sponsor, Brilliant.org. If you're eager to deepen your understanding of the universe in an interactive and engaging way, Brilliant.org is your go-to destination. What I particularly admire about Brilliant is how it simplifies complex topics in mathematics, data science, and computer science, making them both engaging and effective. They also offer a wide range of science courses, including one on gravitational physics, and this one delves into planetary orbits with the depth and clarity that you'll need to fully grasp the significance of this planetary system. Experience all that Brilliant has to offer for free for an entire 30 days by visiting brilliant.org forward slash spacemark. That's brilliant.org forward slash spacemark or click on the link in the description box below. Plus, the first 200 subscribers will receive 20% off Brilliant's annual premium subscription. Now back to HD 110067. This star is a bright K0 type star. These are cooler and less luminous than G type stars like our sun. It's approximately 80% of the sun's size and mass. This means their habitable zones where liquid water could exist on a planet's surface are much closer to the star compared to the sun's habitable zone. It's as close as 0.1 AU, that's 10% of the Earth-Sun distance. K0 stars also tend to have less intense stellar activity compared to hotter stars. The lower levels of UV radiation and fewer solar flares would create a more stable environment for planets, which is advantageous for habitability. But that's not all, K0 stars tend to have longer lifespans, which would provide more time for biological processes to unfold. That's why they're also known as Goldilocks stars. Planets around these types of stars are our best bet in finding extraterrestrial life. Now in 2020, NASA's TESS telescope, which measures transits, so dips in the amount of light emitted by the star as an orbiting planet moves in front of it, they discovered two orbiting planets around HD 110067. This discovery was just the beginning though. ESA's KOPS mission came into play to reveal a third planet in the system. And this was a pivotal moment as astronomers realized that these three planets were in orbital resonance, a rare celestial configuration. Orbital resonance means that the orbital periods of the planets in the system are in a specific repeating ratio. That is, the first planet makes three orbits for every two orbits of the second planet. So they're in a 3-2 resonance. In fact, all three of them are. The outermost planet takes 20.519 days to orbit, which is approximately close to 1.5 times the orbital period of the next planet with 13.673 days. And this in turn is almost exactly 1.5 times the orbital period of the inner planet with 9.114 days to orbit the star. Here, the gravitational forces among the planets interact in a way that stabilizes their orbit. This is extremely rare, and it's thought to be due to the planets forming in a disk of gas and dust around the star that was very stable. It's believed that just 1% of stars stay in resonance. But the discovery was crucial because it provides a key to unlocking the entire planetary system. Resonance creates very predictable patterns in the planets' orbits, and this predictability allows scientists to better understand the dynamics of the system and make more accurate predictions about the planets' positions and movements over time. This allowed astronomers to make even more planet discoveries. Right now, six planets are known to orbit the star. The lengths of all of the neighboring orbits are in integer multiples of each other, creating a resonant chain. 
The discovery of this system has opened a new chapter in the study of planetary systems. The perfect orbital resonance of its planets offer a rare opportunity to study the dynamics of a planetary system and their formation. And these planets are all sub-Neptune size, meaning they're larger than Earth but smaller than Neptune. And they have atmospheres that are likely extended. This makes them ideal candidates for studying the composition of their atmospheres using the James Webb Space Telescope, and also ESA's future missions Ariel and Plato. More importantly, will we find life here? Well, the planets are actually really close to their star, with orbits of just 8% to 26% of the Earth-Sun distance. This is much closer than even Mercury is to our Sun. This means that they're all very hot, with temperatures ranging from 200 to 500 degrees Celsius. Thus, it's very unlikely that any of these planets in the system are located in a habitable zone. They're all too close to their star and they just receive too much radiation, making it too hot for liquid water to exist on their surfaces. However, the discovery of these planets is still significant. It shows that it's possible for planetary systems to form with a large number of planets in resonant configurations. And this is important for understanding how planetary systems form and evolve. Additionally, the discovery of these planets could lead to the discovery of other planets in the system that are located in the habitable zone. But even if there are more planets discovered, the resonances could also have negative implications for habitability. The resonances could cause the planets to experience large changes in their obliquity. This is the tilt of their axes relative to their orbital planes. These changes in obliquity could also lead to large changes in the planet's climates, making them less habitable. So while the resonant nature of HD 110067 offers some advantages for habitability, such as stable orbits, it's unlikely that these particular six planets are habitable. That's all for this week's video. Thank you so much to my YouTube Perks members for subscribing. As usual, if you enjoyed it, please don't forget to leave me a like, share, and subscribe.